Hello everyone and welcome to another G29 settings video where we look at Dirt Rally. Now Dirt Rally is probably one of the easiest uh, setup video, um, more settings kind of things I've done with the G29 compared to other games uh, because it uses Steam Workshop and you can sort of just go through different settings and try ones that you like and I'm going to show you how you do that. First off though, um, let's have a look at the gaming software for Logitech and one of the things I have done, if it will load, Oh no, you're going to crash on me. Oh, no. It just had a little moment. Right, so if you go to Dirt Rally, uh, one of the things I preferred was the wheel up and rating range to make it to 540 degrees. I've got the sensitivity on 50, which I think is high for most games. Most games seem to be down here. Again, I'm pointing with the mouse, and I don't have the mouse enabled. God, I need to change that. Anyway. Um, no centering spring. But that's how you do it. Dirt Rally, then steering wheel. Okay, so we can get rid of that and we can go into Dirt Rally. And if you go into Options and Extras, and then go to Controls, and then you can choose your presets. So you can choose the Logitech G29. The only thing I've changed from the presets is the handbrake. I prefer to have it as one of the paddle shifts up because I've got a shifter and I like using that. Whereas using the buttons on the face with a handbrake, I need to get a proper handbrake, don't I really? So if you go to Vibration and Feedback, as you can see, all of these have all been tweaked. And the reason they are tweaked is, oh, did I just, I don't know, uh, is because I've downloaded a Steam Workshop file. So hopefully this will work and my capture OBS will be able to pick it up. So you go into Steam Workshops, press X, and as you can see, I have downloaded the Logitech G29 Medium Force Feedback. Um, and you can load those presets. You can also open in Workshop, I think, which is button two. I always get confused. One, two, two square. There we go. And it'll open up. You can do this when you don't have anything downloaded as well. Um, so I'm subscribed to this one because this is the one that I use. I think it's good. But you can also go to Workshop and search. And let's go for G29. And there are a number of different settings depending on what how you like it, basically. Um, and you can sort by lots of different oops, sort by lots of different things. Your most recent, most popular, relevance, um, most popular one week today, and you can see and you can hover over and it'll show you the different settings. And you can just try them out. You can subscribe to them. You can try them out. You can you know work your way around. And you can also do that for various other wheels. And the Thrustmaster wheels and all that kind of thing as well. It doesn't just work on the Logitech D29. I would imagine that you'd be able to do it for the G27 and all the others as well. And obviously the Xbox version. There you go, see? So it's all there. And you just subscribe and you do it and it changes. How do I get out of this? I always forget because I never do it. Shift tab. Shift tab. Go away, shift tab. There we go. So mine's set up for Logitech G29 medium force feedback. And for me, it works so far. I'm sure there's settings I'm going to change and configure, but it's nice to have a base, isn't it? Nice to have a um, something to sort of guide you a little bit. Um, because when you get into this sim racing and using the wheel for the first time, it can be a bit tricky. So hopefully that helped and has given you a starting point to jump off from. Um, thanks a lot. Catch me on my live streams on Twitch and YouTube. And also catch up on all the um, VODs on YouTube. I back them up, every single one. Thanks a lot. Bye.